You know what? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go to Japan. Why not? I got a little bit of anime money over here. I'll just uh, pack that into my junk real quick, and uh, we should be good to go. Targeting Tokyo. Death engine activation in ten oh. minutes. Oh, um. Arming the death engine. I thought that was where my booster seat was gonna go. What's up guys, and welcome back to I Expect You to Die, a game that many of you guys might remember was one of the first VR titles that I ever played on the channel, and I absolutely loved it, like it's still one of the best, so when I found out they wanted to send me on another mission, of course I had to end my virtual retirement. Now despite my extensive list of successful missions and achievements in this career, I'll be the first to admit, it's been a while. I might be just a little rusty, but at the same time, I feel like once you got it, you got it, right? Once you become the world's best VR spy, nobody can possibly take that away from you. Okay, you know what? We might be ready for that mission report now before something else goes and catches fire. Fireproof books, okay? Every good spy has them. And you know what? I like my paperwork burned and my sandwiches toasted. <laughs> Operation Seat of Power. Ooh. Our train defector had information about Zor's next big move. It's something called the Death Engine, and you must get more intel on it before it's put to use. We're sending you just outside Madrid to infiltrate a Zoraxis facility, retrieve information on the death engine, and get out alive. Good luck. Why is it always the death engine? Why can't I go after the cuddle engine or the titty mobile or something cool? This is not what I expected. Well done sneaking in. Thank you. We know that death engine intel is somewhere in here. I found it. It's about as easy as sneaking in here. Zoraxis Defense Agenda Roll Call Professor X Ray's Performance Calculation Evaluation. This guy's handwriting is shit. As a team motivating exercise, Death Engine Demo. That might interest me. Make Spanish class mandatory. Jesus, these guys really are evil. I know this is probably going to sound stupid, considering we've been like dangling off the edge of skyscrapers that are about to explode, and trapped inside of submarines that are about to implode, but this is intimidating. This boardroom is like, eerily silent. The only thing that I can hear is this elevator, and it keeps going up and stopping, and going down and stopping, as elevators tend to do, I guess. <laughs> but it never stops here, so I don't know what it has to do with me. Like That's the thing. I don't know where I'm supposed to start. It's always so intimidating. I just need a drink. Yeah, how about that? You know what? Why don't we start where every good <laughs> spy starts? At the bar. I know spies normally like their drinks shaken and not stirred, but uh, that doesn't really apply to champagne. That's how you lose an eye. Jesus, you see what I mean? Uh, what are you? Okay, this does not look like your typical bar tool. I don't know what you are, though, so we'll just keep you in the pile. Uh... <laughs> you see, everything comes together for the world's greatest spy. So, we need to make some kind of letter Z. Alright. I know supervillains like to be a little bit dramatic, but at the same time, this seems excessive to get into your drawer every single day at work. They really need to understand moderation. Trust me, I know a thing or two about moderation. Where do we start? I don't suppose the bull has anything for me. Oh, hold on a second. These kind of look like that piece, right? Uh... Okay. Well, it's not gonna work every time! Friggin' elevator keeps getting one floor away from me, stopping, and then going back up! And I don't know why I act like I need to defend myself, right? It's not gonna open up and have a bunch of guards flood out at me, right? We've never seen another human being in this game. But it's still freaking me out nonetheless. <laughs> We've got name tags. Let's see here, Daniel Sons. 
Never heard of you. I don't know if we're going to need to know these positions, so maybe I'll just keep them where they are. We have, uh, Hive Mind. Yeah, you see what I said about being drama queens? <laughs> just go by your regular name, Seamus. And just stop trying to overcompensate. Charlie Caliente. Yeah, you see, Charlie knows what's up. As well as... No name. Are we missing one? Oh, yeah, we're actually missing two people. So who do we have here? Professor X-Ray. Of course, we've heard quite a bit about you, Mr. X-Ray, and your motivational, educational, conversational, bad handwriting. <laughs> as well as Anna Ulanova. Uh, sorry, Anna. Doesn't look like you have a seat. You can just sit on my lap. We'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. We also have... Ugh, something screwed up. Project... Blank? Attention Dr. Zor? Yeah, this doesn't look too promising. I was so busy drinking and picking through the garbage that I never noticed the giant gold button on my chair. That I'm kind of questioning whether or not I should push now. Like, if that's the summon the elevator button, or summon the guards button, or summon room service button, then it's really gonna screw up my day. Oh, it's the summon cigars button! Never mind, that was well worth it! Okay, now we can really relax and think. I don't suppose burning this would help, would it? It looks like it's already burnt, so maybe if I burn it again, it would Unburn it. No, it's, it's worth a try, okay? You, you, you never know. Okay, that was kind of stupid. There's honestly surprisingly little around here to interact with. Like, I'm sure I'm staring right at some stuff, but it's just not adding up in my mind. Hey, Mr. Bull, you probably spend a whole lot of time around here, don't you? Maybe I can uh, convince you to burn that chair down? <laughs> After what that bull's been through, it could likely use that cigar. <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy to help, I guess. I didn't really mean to burn Hive Mind's chair. My bad. Don't worry about it, okay? When we put it in order for Anna, then we'll put it in order for you. Why do I act like I give a shit? I'm just here to steal stuff and leave, right? I don't suppose you're gonna toot on that for a little while and help me out, will ya? You gotta know something, right? Just nod, smile, point, any... thing? Jesus Christ, he actually is pointing. What's wrong with me? Oh my god, you cannot be serious. <laughs> I just thought that was a giant piece of stupid art. This is what I've been looking for. Not that I worry about Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. Right. They were literally a floor above me. Wait, why would they even find this suspicious? Right, he apparently does this every day to get in here. Anytime he needs to get in the drawer, he smashes stuff. So they're probably just thinking that eccentric lunatic is back down in his room, struggling to put the pieces in. Got everything, get the freak out of the way. Here we go. And some of that. Good. Um, can I have you, please? Boom. Welcome, Dr. Zor. <gasps> you were Zor. All along. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Seriously, though, remember what you're after, Agent. It's the death engine. Good joke. I don't suppose I'd be lucky enough to have one of these buttons cut off all radio communication in and out of the room, would I? I would love a little bit of quiet time away from Q. Again, nothing is labeled, so this could be summon the guards, summon the elevator, summon room service. Send hive mind downstairs? What the hell? Oh! Oh, that's the fire an employee button. Uh, literally! <laughs> Wait a minute. So, if I can send any of them down... Oh, yeah. Would you look at that? That's expensive. I can only imagine how much you gotta pay to put something like that in. But I would imagine that means that I can bring them all up and bring you up? Ooh. What do we have here? Something fresh off a charred corpse? Do I really want to put this up against my eyes? 
Probably not. Whoa. Uh, okay. Is that a scorpion? Oh, that is a scorpion too. I was gonna say the scorpions are trophies, right? I thought you got them from speed running the game though. Maybe because it's the last level is different. Uh, why don't we free you, my little friend, and then I can, I can't grab him. I can't, I can't grab him. Where'd he go? Uh, okay. What am I freaking out about? I don't have legs for him to sting. <laughs> okay, well, we now have scorpion free in the room. That's good to know. And, uh, a thing? Oh, that's the glass that I put in there. Anything else? No. A bunch of Venus fly traps, some broken glass, and one angry bug. Great. I had assumed this was some kind of box containing the documents that we needed to get, but it's looking a whole lot more complicated. We made the Z, so I'm not sure what else I can do with it. Uh, there's a key inside of the table, potentially taped underneath the table. I don't know what I would do with the key. The elevator has blast doors that are coming down in front of it. That's good to know. Also mildly concerning. There's uh, a pair of droopy headphones on the floor. There's a pair of droopy headphones in the floor. Ooh, hold on a second. So can I... Can't get into you. That would be my cork making a mess around here. So maybe one of these buttons does it? I don't know if I want to go pressing buttons. Uh, no, 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 undo, un undo, undo, there, there we go. I need the key now, I need the key now. Come on, come on, come on, gas mask. <gasps> oh, the world's greatest spy. Holy crap. So, why the hell do I have the ability to gas myself and save myself? <laughs> Are these the documents? I would probably want to hold on to that. Okay, just just be safe right there. What have we got? Uh, executive chair manual. Your chair has been equipped with an evacuation package. This package will engage if your location is under imminent threat. Okay. So I'm sitting in a rocket chair. 0101. Again! Probably important, gonna keep that in the pile! I'm also mildly concerned with the fact that we have stacks of cash in different currencies as if I need to run somewhere? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, more than happy to hold on to a couple of bills. Even though they might contain secrets. Oh, I don't get paid nearly enough to do this, right? Oh, come on. You would better have some kind of secret in you, so help me God. The secret inside was my disappointment. You better believe I'm gonna be asking for a raise if they expect those death ray chair rocket plans. What were we here for? I'm kind of surprised there's nothing in this armrest. I kind of figured that I would need to use this to interact with it, but I'm guessing I need to use it with this thing? Can I do... Oh! Oh! Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Oh, oh nice. what the shit? Purring of what? It just exploded in my face! I assume something went wrong there, because there's one thing a spy hates, it's exploding. I'm just gonna pop that in there. We're good so far. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah, would you look at that? It's a piece of dynamite, and it slides over and lights on this. Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. Sometimes I do miss field work. Oh, oh, I see. Hold on, so... Oh, clever. Okay, so we just gotta rotate this around enough to move it forward. I'm picking the lock! That's really cool! And I just don't want to pick it too far or else the dynamite will explode. Woo! Woo! Okay! Unauthorized death engine use. Notifying security personnel. Ah. Uh, okay. Now would be the time for the blast doors, uh... So this is the death engine? 
<laughs> Wait! Warning. Death engine data reel removed. That's the intel we need. I got it! Find a way to get it out of there intact. You think this flamethrower is a bit excessive? Flamethrower? Shit, uh, no, 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 oh my god, no, 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 I'm getting flamethrowered. 16 weeks of skin grafts and rigorous physiotherapy later, I'm back once again to be extra paranoid about that damn elevator. Like, there is a way of stopping that. There is a way to bring some kind of shield down, but I just don't know how. There was a giant red button there. We have a giant red button here that I haven't pressed, but I've been kind of paranoid. Because I would imagine one of them is going to drop the shield, and the other is going to activate the jets, which are then going to launch me into the giant blender. I guess there's really only one way of finding out, right? Oh, thank God. Notifying security personnel. Oh, no, you don't need to do that. No, no, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm just going to be back to picking this lock. Eh, there we go. There we go. Good. Okay, I, I got it. Oh, they're on the way. They can't get in, right? Thing we have the world's slowest elevator. Who's in there? No one. Housekeeping. We'll one way or another. I doubt that. Come on, let's get the hive mind. Get the hive mind. Oh, yeah. Tell him he's a drama queen for that stupid name. <laughs> in the meantime, I am going to be taking one. this. Death engine data reel removed. That's the intel we need. Now, find a way to get it out of there intact. Right, and I can't use the elevator, so I'm assuming I need the giant red button. We still don't know what this does. Oh. Okay, uh, where would we like to go? Uh, with Japan, California, New York. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll go to Japan. Why not? I got a little bit of anime money over here. I'll just uh, pack that in my junk real quick, and uh, we should be good to go. Targeting Tokyo. Death engine activation in ten oh. minutes. Oh, um. Arming the death engine. I thought that was where my booster seat was gonna go. <laughs> Q. You now will be the time to chime in. I think I just killed anime. Like, I don't know what 0101 means. It doesn't mean anything. Death engine activation in six minutes. I Charging get it. Reserve. I get it. I get it. I get it. There's got to be something else here that I can interact with. Like, I swear I have tried to interact with everything in this room, and I've got absolutely nothing going for me. Those guys are taking their sweet-ass time with the hive mind. I'm just going to blow up L.A. real quick. Scorpion didn't leave me with anything. I can't take the clock. I get the money, whatever that's good for. Could really use another drink right about now, but <laughs> this is absurd. Uh, can I screw this thing up? Eh, eh. Come on, come. Ah, screw it. We're just gonna blow up LA. That, that's all there is to it. So just torch all these chairs while we're at it. Death engine activation. Five minutes. Uh-huh. friends and family. Oh, shit. Hey, the, uh, bees know I'm on their side, right? What? I spy with my little eyes something that is bees! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Okay! Uh, that, that would be- that would be the time for the gas. That would be the time for the gas. No! My bees! Let it be known, Agent. This isn't the last you've seen of me! The hive mind! Okay, your name is still dumb. I'm the one who's gonna blow up LA. You're gonna be answering to me sooner rather than later. Okay, thank you, gas button. You do serve a purpose. <laughs> Who are they gonna go get next? Daniel or what was your name? Mr. Caliente, I don't even remember. Charlie, Char Ch oh, Chuck Caliente. I don't suppose any of those chairs brought up anything for me. No? Oh shit, they're back again? What do you guys want now? He thought it was a great idea! Oh. Uh, that might be a bit more of a problem. No, please! Death engine. Hi! Ah, shit! I just got this skin! 
What the hell am I missing? There has to be a way for me to get you out of here. I'm so freaking close. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Like, there's so many different locations for me to bomb, and I haven't tried bombing them all, so I, I guess I might as well just work my way through them. What? What the what the shit? So I wasn't supposed to use this at all? Oh! Of course, I got you for the job. All right, here goes. Right, bees, 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 bees. Hold on. Eh, gonna just. Mm -hmm. Okay, I bring on the bees. What do we got here? Agent. Oh. But how will you deal with Flan bees? Oh, do not try to pun me with your bees. I'm a lot more worried about how rickety this thing is. Let it be known, Agent. This isn't the last you've seen of me. Behind mine! Uh-huh, yeah, okay, let's see here. Um, fasten my safety belt, I could do that, okay. Uh, the fan. Right, hitting that would be a bad thing. <laughs> so how do I get rid of the fan? Uh, we got, uh, oh, oh, right, uh, zero one zero 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 one zero. Right, good. Nine. Oh, that's good. On being promoted to blow torch, blow torch, blow torch. Uh, last but not least is what? What is that? Is that this thing on my face? You want me to take this thing with? I can, I can do that. Good. Engage. No. What the hell is that? I only got a few seconds here, dude. Please. Oh. 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 Good. Good. I got it. Oh my liquor! No! No, wait, 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 we we don't need to go yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Outstanding work, Agent. Our extraction team is standing by as you figure out how to land your flying armchair. And it only took me three and a half minutes. I really doubt I'm going to be able to figure out all of these secret souvenirs, but I can probably get the speed run. But 50 seconds seems doable now that I know what I'm doing. Let's give it a try. What can I say? I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment. We'll skip the bar this time around and try our best not to blow ourselves up. Well we done sneaking put in. all of we this into place. Well, so like that. Good. Uh, you are going to need to come out. You are going to need to come up. And I'll take that. And this doesn't fit very well on your face. There we go. Something like uh, the this. The of a combination this, lock mechanism. This. Unmistakable. This. Good. There we go. We want to bomb. What was it? Madrid, I think. Take you. Come on, 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 go faster, go faster, go faster, there we go. Now, find a way to get it out of there and tell it. And boop, go, 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 go. We took off before they even got down here. I feel like that has to be well under 50 seconds, right? There's no way to humanely do that any faster. 59 seconds! Work, agent. Our extraction team is standing by as you figure out how to land your flying armchair. How am I supposed to do that nine seconds faster? You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of I Expect You to Die, guys. And despite this being one of my favorite VR games ever, and the fact that I'm so happy to return to it, I didn't think I was going to be able to because I didn't have my save file anymore. Like, I assumed that the game wasn't being developed, it was done with, I had seen and played everything, so I just wiped the whole thing from my computer. But fortunately, I put a call out on Twitter, and a viewer by the name of William came through for me. He sent me his save file, so I just wanted to say that this video wouldn't have been possible without you, William, so thank you very much. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.